if you've layered a turtleneck before, sometimes it is not easy to do and you overheat. And if you've wanted to wear, have that look of a turtleneck before it starts to really get cool out, then it, you're really getting into murky waters there because you know like you're going to start sweating as soon as the sun comes out. Well, this is a way that you get the look of the turtleneck and you're also able to layer without any of the fuss. It's sleeveless, so it's great for layering. You can put it under your jackets, you can put it over your long sleeve tops, and we just got this in August 17th. This is one of Joan Rivers wardrobe builders. So think of it as one of those essential pieces that you pick up and you will wear season after season after season because it doesn't go out of style and it's done in classic colors that you can continue to wear and that will match back into a lot of the things that you have in your closet. This is your dove gray choice and it's almost like a soft lilac. It's like a gray tone lilac, if that makes sense. Yeah. Dove, gr Dove gray. This is your dark raisin, and it's a really deep shade of purple. To me, this is like the perfect fall lipstick color. It's a really gorgeous shade of purple. And then this is your spice choice. Extra, extra small through 3X. This is a knit done in 60% cotton, 40% rayon, and it is 24 to 28 and a quarter of an inch long, depending on which size you get home. Bitsy, this is such a perfect top because it's that sweet spot between a turtleneck and a tank top. It really is. It's, it's one of our wardrobe builders for a reason. And wardrobe builders, if you're not familiar, is a capsule collection within the greater classics collection of those staple pieces, those pieces that you'll wear as the foundation. I love to, again, show you different ways to wear it. I like that we don't do any sort of inset on the arms. So see how it's a straight up and down armhole? That means you can layer a blouse underneath it. Very Veronica Beard, maybe you have like a floral blouse that has a sort of a blue sant sleeve. Underneath a ribbed turtleneck like this, it looks sensational. And you can buy that from Veronica Beard if you wanna spend a few hundred dollars, <laughs> or you can make it yourself by by shopping your own closet. Look at pieces that you have that maybe if you just threw something over it, it could change the whole look. Now, oftentimes our wardrobe builder uh, sleeveless turtlenecks are just that flat knit like the V-neck sweater we just had. What we did this season is did a nice narrow ribbing detail. That nice rib gives it a, a nice linear look. It sort of jazzes it up a little bit, makes it really sort of stand on its own even more so, I'd say, than a plain turtleneck. I like the fact that at the bottom, though, the ribbing just continues. We didn't do a horizontal ribbing at the bottom to sort of end it. So it lays nice and flat. It can tuck in beautifully. It's, there's no additional bulk at the bottom. Again, don't feel like you need to size up if you have curvier hips because it's all built right in. Much like our boyfriend shirts, it'll fit you perfectly through the shoulder. As you see, we saw in Adrian, no uh, sleevage there on the side. We're getting good coverage. We're not seeing any bra strap. So it looks great, worn on its own. You can feel confident. You're getting all the coverage that you need. But then as it gets colder, then when you want to layer, this becomes that perfect piece because you're not getting any bulk through the arms. You're getting a great neck on this turtleneck. Stays up in place. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't get too loose. I don't like a limp turtleneck. I, I got to be honest <laughs> with you. Yes. I've been known to like pin a turtleneck on the back because if. First of all, it typically will bend down and you'll see all my makeup <laughs> inside. Oh, my yes. <laughs> yeah. Which is, you know, something I need to live with. Although it's funny, Jane Brown was telling David that she's been known to sort of fold it twice to sort of avoid makeup. So there's ways around that. But it is machine wash at home. So yeah. you get a little makeup on it, it's not the end of it. <laughs> I mean, I take my makeup all the way down. I don't want any lines, Dang. so I feel like I'm it's... like all I'm like down to the. <laughs> yeah. There, I said it. <laughs> These are your color choices: your dove gray. This is your dark raisin, and then your spice. Extra, extra small through three X. A four five two four eight four is your item number. Forty nine fifty to get that home. Your easy pay is sixteen dollars and fifty cents. I love the spice with the claret. Yeah, that looks so great cute. together. It almost reminds me of um, 
Scooby Doo. What Daphne? Oh, Velma. Yeah. Velma. Yes. But Velma, she Velma. Oh my gosh! She just needs some glasses. That is so funny. <laughs>